want another? Sure. Bombay Sapphire G&T, right? Yeah, thanks. Do you need anything else? No, I'm good. Are you waiting for someone? Yeah, friend of mine, Roland. Blue shirt, sandy hair, six foot, chunky. Okay, I'll send him over when I see him. Appreciate it. Ronald Eugene Ewing, 22 year old white male, found by parents in his bedroom in an apparent suicide by hanging. Client Dr. Neil Ewing, the father, believes son was murdered. Hey, Kev. Roland, what's up? Oh, you know, same old, meeting you in a bar before noon while I'm still on duty. Well, next time we can meet at Krispy Kreme and you can sneak me this stuff in front of an entire squad. I assume this is going on the expanding list of favors you owe me? This is Unit 39 responding, I'm on my way. Can I get you something? Oh, I'm good. I'm still on duty and I gotta get out of here in a minute. Thanks. Thanks. Sure. Another? God, it's a little early for a first, isn't it? So this is officially a suicide? Well, you tell me. A kid's found hanging from his ceiling, left a note. Seems pretty straightforward. Parents believe it's murder. Well then, I guess you get to help them with their denial then, don't you? Better you than me. Asshole. Yeah, asshole, you owe another favor, all right? I gotta get going. I'll see you later. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Man in the blue shirt, huh? Sorry. So are you the good cop or the bad cop? Neither. Private detective. You are not. I really am. People really still do this? Someone's got to take the cases the cops won't touch. Is it a hot case? Might be interesting. It's kind of early to tell. What is it? I probably shouldn't. Aw, oh, come on, Kevin. You can tell me. Can I? Please. Will you go to dinner with me Friday if I do? Depends. Where will you take me? Trust me and I'll surprise you. Okay, deal. So what is it? A couple of days ago a kid hung himself. His parents are convinced he didn't do it, so I get to find out if he did or not. So, do you carry a gun? Just a pocket knife. Well, have you ever been shot at? Once. Sort of. Sort of? I have to save something for Friday, don't I? Hi, Miss Esperson. This is Kevin Adams. I'd rather not leave a message, but I've been unable to get a hold of you. I was referred to you by Ronald Ewing's parents. They hired me to investigate the circumstances surrounding his death. Please give me a call at 206-598-5968 when you feel you can talk. Yeah, she's not going to call back. Jesse Wilkes. You the detective who called? Yeah, Kevin Adams, how you doing? I gotta open an hour, so you have to bear with me. Can I get you anything? Sapphire gin and tonic. So you wanna know about Ron? Yeah, you were his best friend growing up. We were 10, same shirt, same little league team. Got drunk for the first time together. Best friend. Same school then? We went to Pacific U together for a little while. 
Kilron dropped out. He went to a private high school though. He didn't like it though, said people didn't understand him. Why is that? It was a church school. Ron was a bit of a klepto, didn't like to follow the rules. You know, stole CDs, movies, beer, shit like that. Nothing big. Said that people didn't really like him, but he didn't care, but I could tell it really bothered him. Started getting morose. Didn't want to hang around any of my friends. Just me. You say he was depressed then? A little. His parents thought something was really wrong. Sent him to a shrink. Ron said she was a bitch, but she gave him a prescription for Prozac. Is he on medication recently? I doubt it. He never really took the stuff. He just dumped it out of the capsules and snorted it when he was around people he didn't know. Use any other drugs? Weed, narcotics? He experimented once in a while. Autopsy showed he was on meth when he died. Shit. Sorry, I know this must be hard for you. You surprised about the meth? No, not really. Ron's been doing meth for about a year now, I guess, and coke for a while before that. Ron was a druggie, junkie, whatever you want to call it. Didn't know when to quit. It was getting to the point where it was really affecting him. Lost weight, wasn't motivated. He talked about killing himself, and you get pretty low coming down off the ship. Had that to being depressed already, and. Where was he getting money for the drugs? Ron was a mule. I loved the bastard, but God, he was dumb sometimes. Do you know who he was caring for? I never wanted to know. I thought about it a lot, but I never told anybody about it. Not even Natalie. Oh, his ex, right? I've been trying to reach her. Tell me what happened there. She caught him using. He couldn't even get it up because of the shit he was on. Natalie was great for him, and I thought she would really turn him around, but... Listen, I know you're working for his parents, but they didn't know about the drugs and stuff. Ron was good at keeping that part of himself hidden. They're decent people. They didn't make him like that. I'll keep that in mind. I have one more question, something completely unrelated. I'm meeting a date here Friday night. You think you can save me a table? Good time. Round six. Get here a little early, I'll save you a booth. Thanks. One more thing. Did Ron have any enemies? They were dealers. He stiffed. Stuff like that, he told me. I don't know who they were. Best friend says subject was a drug addict, depressive, and suicidal. Believes parents to be naive. I could be dumb before I even get started. Hello, Stokely and Watson Investigations. Can I help you? Yeah, this is Kevin. Can I have Elliot, please? Yes, Kevin. I'm checking out the Ewing house in just a minute. I probably won't make it back to the office today. Okay, that's fine. What's your picture of the Ewing boy looking like now? Pretty screwed up. His best friend said he was carrying coke down from Canada on his parents' boat. I got the police reports today, and it looks like he has an extensive record. One month for parole violation, drug-related, then just public drunkenness, that kind of thing. I think we should go to the funeral. Give you a chance to learn more about what people thought of him, whether they knew the truth. Yes, I'll see you in the office tomorrow.